marriage is when two people come together two different people two completely different individuals they come together to reconcile two set of values two set of beliefs and of course two different set of human relationship they're two different individual getting into a relationship which is long term it's sacramental isn't it now in a relationship one must be willing to give the other the space the chance and the choice and the freedom to become who they want to become so it's pointless if you're falling in love with somebody whom you love today fall in love with somebody because you're willing to see them become who they want to become isn't that something to allow them to become what they want to become so marriage is going to get monotonous sometime and one will resent the other and there will be fighting and there will be boredom but again at the same time marriage is beautiful isn't it it's got the joyous company of the other you decide whom you can age with gracefully i'm going to share this with you about uh, this wonderful couple who comes into a therapy session with me marriage counseling session roger and tina roger is well built he's tall he's very chikna um physically built a footballer um, working in an mnc marketing and uh, uh, on the other side we had tina tina was again beautiful cinderella if i may call her Uh, she was amazing, and uh, she said she doesn't like to cook, but she plays great guitar. And both worked successfully in an MNC. And Tina was into finance. So they seven months into marriage, and they realize that um, the devil creeped. And they realize that something has taken away the joy which they had before marriage. So they were there with me, and and all through the sessions room, the time that they were there, it was so much of fun. I'm telling you, it was so much of fun. We were just flowing each other. At one point, Cinderella, I mean. Tina <laughs> at one point Tina uh, stopped Roger and said uh, you don't tell me that you love me as much as you used to before and that that's the time when Roger looks at me and Roger tells me that uh, how many times should I tell her I love you I said you better tell her before somebody else tells her <laughs> and the whole room lit up and everybody was just laughing and there was so much of fun the whole session was was like 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 you know old friends catching up all three they were exactly the kind of people Uh, I'd like to chill with, but then what happens to wonderful people when they get married? It's I think the the overexposure of each other, and one must be allowing the other in some way the freedom, the space with which they can become whom they want to become, and then you must be ready to accept the other for whom they become. Isn't that marriage all about? Not even once did I feel that there was a need of counseling. In fact, what I felt was they need a lot of transparency of their feelings and to be free and bold to share what you feel, how you feel, and the way you feel. I think they need a lot of cuddles and hugs and kisses and sex. I think that's what they really need. That's what couples need. So never let the fragrance of eternity and potpourri go out of your. a uh, bedroom and let not that be replaced with big and kalash jeevan and cheap the antrita prabhas aroma well um that's marriage all about and marriage is difficult is going to be difficult it's not easy but what is love love is when two people are willing to not and never give up on each other no matter what they're going to push each other they're going to take each other into newer directions to promise them to bring out the best in them that's marriage to to fight them to bring out the best in them to love them to to be on them to hug them to promise them a new future a new tomorrow to be with them to look into each other's eyes and to repeat the vows again with the same feeling and the same intensity so that love remains So both these lovely couple were searching in a relationship through each other in which they wanted to find the stories of adventure and peace the stars and the secrets of the ocean the waves and the anchor both of them were looking for stability security and at the same time they wanted freedom and autonomy now that is confusion and resolution in itself and i think at the end of the session both roger and tina somehow find some kind of resolution for them and they were willing to allow each other to become who they really wanted to become uh, by not forcing any rules by not forcing them physically by not by not in any way putting values and ethics and beliefs into their relationships now that was a beautiful transition i could see it in their eyes as they became one in that moment they did get close closer actually 
they felt the breath on each other and kissed each other in my session through now that's something which doesn't happen every day that was a moment i said hallelujah cheers to both of them this improbable marriage between feeling of belonging and the feeling of freedom with one person is probably the greatest challenge of modern love to date